Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan. Welcome back to The Forge. In this episode, trust me, I'm a blacksmith. I'm going to be making some extra special tooling that I'm super excited about. So this is a project I've been wanting to undertake for a while. Um, it's, um, it's something that I've been experimenting with for quite some time and it involves H13. It also involves power hammers. Um, it's not directly involved with power hammers. The tools that I'm going to be making can be used by a striker or just by yourself, uh, depending on how brave you are. Um, or athletic, perhaps. Anyway, um, a long time ago, uh, about six years ago, I went to Sweden and I worked with a gentleman called Roger Lund. I will put a link to his channel below. He is an amazing guy. He told me about the material he uses for punching holes, this H13 stuff. In fact, I think he was using something different, but he said, H13 is what I will probably be able to get hold of. This is H13, this is what we're going to make, be making these tools out of today. Now, why am I telling you all this? Well, um, about, I don't know how long ago it was either, I think it was Yuri Hoffi as well, I was on his store and I saw these really amazing tools where um, you basically uh, pick the tools up with a pair of tongs and then you had yourself a rodded tool uh, and you could have, um, or or what my impression was, um, this is what I'd like to do, is you have yourself a nice wooden box with a series of holes drilled in, with each one of the different tools that just sits in the hole, and then when, if you need a flatter, you can reach over, you can grab yourself a flatter, you can reach over and grab yourself your slitting drift, or whatever it is that you want, uh, your hot cut, and I thought, wow, that is a really great idea, uh, especially for a workshop where there isn't much room, this is great, this is a great, um, and it, and it just seems cool to me. It might be a gimmick. Um, but anyway, um, the one before it burnt, I got on really well with. Um, I must have made 20, 30 hammers, maybe 40 hammers with this thing and then killed it. Um, since then, I've been punching them with a punch, uh, which works fine. Unfortunately, um, it takes a lot more effort and I can't use the power hammer, which is slowing me down ever so slightly. Uh, time is money. Um, so. Experiment number one, I wanted to try this, I wanted to see what sort of deformation happened on this shank. Not very much, because uh, this stuff is really hard. Um, and um, So I machined this up today, um, and now I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a hammer eye punch. Uh, and now I'm going to give it a test on Ben's hammer, um, and Ben Toombs' hammer, uh, and um, see how we get uh, on. So I am going to be making a pair of tongs, um, a pair of rivet tongs, a lot like this just to hold this tool in, I am going to be making them out of 16mm uh, square mild steel or 5 eighths, I think it's 5 eighths, um, uh, just normal mild steel tongs um, and I'm going to make those, you're basically going to see me flatten this out, maybe do a bit of grinding on it, make the tongs and then give it a test. That's basically this video, if this works I am going to be so excited because it means I will be able to make more of these, I'll be able to make myself a really nice set and also if you guys want to get your hands on some of this stuff. I'll be able to sell it to you. Um, basically, what it, what it, uh, the thought process was: if you wanted a flatter, you could buy the flatter and the tongs, and then once you had a bit more money, uh, a little bit later on down the line, you could say, "Hey Dan, I'd like myself a round punch and a square punch or a chisel," and then you could call up and you could order that. And you would only need to pay for this bit. You wouldn't need to pay for me to punch a hole or make the rods. I just seem to think it was a good idea. And if you needed to replace anything, you could just order the part and replace it. Um, I am also just going to make it so that these bits turn up shinned. Um, I'm going to find an engineering firm to do that uh, and then heat treat them as I use them. I think that's a great way of doing it. I don't necessarily think everything needs to be forged if it gives you the advantage of doing this. But we will see how it goes. This is definitely an experiment and um, anyway, I've talked enough. Let's make some stuff.
Right, so here we are. We've got um, we've got the punch all ground up, and I finished off the tongs the other day. I'm really sorry. I'm pretty sure I didn't get quite a bit of the footage of me setting these up uh, and stuff like that because I have, time is really really hard to come by at the minute. Um, I'm being pushed and pulled all over the place. But anyway, <coughs> today is a new day. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of a flick on the back of these uh, reins just so that the tong clip can't come off. And then what I'm going to do is take this piece of material here. This is going to be for Ben Toombs. This is going to be his rounding hammer. Um, I'm going to punch a hole through this using this just to show you, you guys um, A, the, the capability of H13 and B, um, this tool in action basically. Uh, also get a bit of footage for Ben. So there's the punch, it's going to need a little bit of dressing, when it gets up to those orangey colours it does deform a little bit, but nowhere near, nowhere near as much as a normal steel would, um, or even, a, even a, a relatively medium carbon steel. And there's the hole, there's the hole, Let's see that goes in there nicely, and this is set up ready for the drift to go into. So they work pretty good, and I, I could have done that in one heat. I was just um, trying not to overcook this too much uh, on that first one because it literally it came loose, and then I had to use the drift just to get the old slug out. So. punch sort of like this I just sort of loved it and it's growing and growing and growing and growing on me so um, I would really like to make a bit more tooling for this uh, and uh, share it with you guys so let me know in the comments what you think I should uh, stick on here next I think I'm gonna make a hot cut uh, or something like that for it next and um, whilst we're on the subject of hammers Wade and William, you may vaguely recognise these. These are your uh, one straight peen, one diagonal peen. And also, um, 
<coughs> Excuse me. And also, Peter, uh, Monday, I'm down here, so I'll be making your rounding hammer on Monday. So uh, that will be all the hammers all caught up. Books will be going out very shortly. Basically caught up. So uh, let me know what you thought. I really enjoyed making it. Um, and to be honest with you, it's turned out really nicely. Just these tongs as well were quite good fun. And yeah, sorry I didn't get all of it on video, um, but it was just a little bit of fun. Let me know if you'd like to get your hands on some of these. I know it's not complete yet and finished, but um, I'm really interested to know whether you guys would like to see some more tooling for this and whether or not it's something that you might be interested in getting your hands on. Um, one thing I was just going to mention is the profile. When these, when you've got a nice short, short tool like this, uh, there's a previous joke where I said short tool uh, and made another joke. Um, <laughs> But this, this very short profile uh, here um, makes, yeah, well, it means you're not swinging your hammer too high to draw and hit, and you can, you know, you can get your hand out of the way because of the tongs or if it was a rotted tool. So, um, yeah, I think they're great. So, I would do. I'm biased. I made it. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, remember to ring that bell for notifications because it lets me know, every, uh, me know, lets you know, lets you know every time uh, that I make a video and I make videos as often as possible. Check your comments down below, let me know what tools I should make for this next. Uh, let me know um, if you'd like to get your hands on it. Let me know any, anything basically. Go over to the website, check out the stuff that's over there. Send me an email if you want to ask me any more in depth questions about tools and so on and so forth. Uh, that is everything. Thank you for joining me. I will leave a link up here to a video where I made a pair of tongs. I will leave a, video, uh, leave a link down to a video here where I made a hammer. This is my Patreon. Please go and check that out. It's a great way to support the channel. And this here is the subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, guys. See you guys later. Bye-bye. And girls. See you later, guys and girls.